Hello and welcome back. Look at that. We have to take down Atlas, who's hiding out, sneaky sneaky boy, in the Advent Old Headquarters. No one could have suspected this. He was very sneaky about this. And now we have to teach him a lesson of being dead. Because that's the only lesson we know how to teach. But it works. And that what makes us good cops. <clears throat> So let's go. <laughs> Take down Atlas. But first, we have to uh, set up Blue Blood a little bit. He has Super Scope. Super Stock? No. No. Mm, don't know. Let's do Hair Trigger. It's Lux. Weave? No, 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 no. Regen Weave. Let's do Target Analyzer. Actually, I don't like that. I want the Holo Tank. Do I want AP rounds? Mm -hmm. Incendiary and AP rounds. We are shredding too. Okay, um, just go back a one step. I could go and get more holo scanners. I value these things. I don't know how many we're gonna get. Wait, did it disappear? How many I got? Let's get one more. Oh my god, I'm gonna run out of money. Send APC. Cease fire bomb. Okay. Holo scanner. No one cares about that. We just wanna spam holo scanners. all the time that makes it easier to hit them actually the flashing them is pretty okay too cease fire bomb no one cares flash bomb now that's more like it disorienting them means that they can't use abilities <clears throat> so free holo scanners let's go the robot gets nothing. That's the only rule. Brace for impact. Really? I find that hard to believe. That such building would not be reinforced. Who wants one armor? Sending Verge. Patchwork. Holo scanner. Blue blood. And terminal. Maybe I have too many holo scanners. Ah, uh, now I'm thinking. We have way too many holo scanners. But hey, at least we got enough, right? Who's this red? Two holo targeted max. Okay, let's take a shot. That insta kill looks good. But what I would like even more is just killing the max. Let's finish off the mac. Same thing. It didn't work! It took free damage. And armor shredded. 
<clears throat> the old blueprint showed an empty area just inside the wall. What? How was I supposed to know it was Shrike's firing range? We are not all psychic. I like it takes <laughs> takes a long time to set up a firing range. It's basically an empty room. Seems like he was more concerned about blame than being helpful. Encounter one out of two. Highest chance to hit is the mech, obviously. You can go for that, but it's not as good. Can we just finish off the wounded soldier? The chance to hit is a little low. Why? Anyone else who just needs to be disabled? The bomber would really like to be disabled. Can we hit him? Now we don't see the bomber. Damn. Uh, blue blood will actually come after the mac. So let's take a shot at the mac. Finding the flank. Purging impurity. Okay then. No. So there's no one to mind control. They're just gonna go for two shots. Can we go shots on those who are yet to come? I might just go for shots on those who die from one hit. damage it's fine okay okay so we do that last can we take out the bomber As possible. We got a crit hit? It is still not guaranteed. Oh my god. The chance to hit is pretty low now. We can do a face off. Oh, it's one permission. Mm. Maybe do it later. Next. Next encounter. I mean, it kind of makes sense. He's, he's hiding. Still take the shot. It's not completely hopeless.
tracking target weapon. Good job, Hitman. Disabling target weapon. Oh no, it worked. I need to reload now. So who wants a free action? Or do I want heals? Actually, Patchwork took uh, quite a lot of damage. Taking out the bomber would be the best. No one is particularly good at it, though. This is basically 1 out of 2. 9 out of 20. Uh, Patchwork can do it. I think. Go! Go now! No. <laughs> but it's a guaranteed. Oh no. Hit. Let's go for the hit, man. Electrify. Stunt do. Respectable damage. Of course, we're gonna get hit a little bit more for normal damage now that I went for reg Gem Vives. I'm not sure if it's better. Who can we hit? The hitman is kind of easy to hit. Also, them how you feel. easy to make mad. Appreciate the breathing room. A double dog dare you to kill the bomber. Pussy, you couldn't even do it. Needs to die. No ammo. I need to reload. Okay, let's do that then. I'm gonna reload. Do we heal by two? I don't think they know you're here. Okay, they know. Get a move on. Wow, this is really bad at his job. A lot of activity on the 80th floor. Uh, there's an elevator ahead. It should take you right there. I hear clanking. Do you hear clanking? There are fewer aggressive enemies at this entrance. Who cares? All non-aggressive enemies guarding this entrance are surprised. Oh, we can't do it. No one brought bre breaching charge. You bastards. Not that.
How does it work? <laughs> Still have no idea. I guess I can go for a heal. Who cares? Let's go. Ready to go. Grenade out. Oh, look at that. So many guys. Oh, Dominators. I don't like those guys. Paladin is a joke. Dominator is total bullshit. Necromancer is a total joke. And Resonant is a total joke too. So let's kill the Dominators. Wow. Uh, I'll just kill him. If I had to choose another guy who's the second most dangerous, who would I choose? The Paladin chooses someone uh, to boost, then they die together. So. He's actually just helps me. And the uh, Necromancer spends one turn to do nothing. So I suppose the Resonant is the, the least bad here. I'm not exactly sure what he does. No! Okay, fine. I thought I was... I think he's a buffer. Most of all. The elevator needs a key card. One of these Shrike goons must have it on them. Oh, we'll find it. There, grab that key card and head to the 80th floor. He has it. <laughs> well, it's not not very safe. Killing the resonance. Mm -hmm. Do I want to do that? Resident is a good chance to hit. Okay, let's just let's just let's just shoot at stuff that I can kill. Yeah, we can kill the. Actually, this might even kill the resident in one shot. It's not gonna kill the resident in one shot. Well, blue butt can finish up the resident. Got zombies out. Dropping target. Oh crap. Usually they run and and do the zombies, but he got the zombies and shot. Oh, look at that. This guy wants to kill the sorcerer. Resident would be nice to kill. Is it possible to kill the Paladin? That's boost. We don't even see the Paladin. That's boosting the Sorcerer. I'm not super happy with that. Yeah, we can't even reach. Okay. We have a little bit of time, but not too much. What are the shots I can do? We can try to take out the Necromancer. I guess that's relevant too. Okay, that's pretty much guaranteed. Yo, this is not the time to miss. Okay, I, I guess the resonant would just die to the. Poison now. Resonant boosted. 
this is not as clean as I hoped. Cannot even target the sorcerer. And this necromancer is a little annoying. If I throw a flash, then the zombies will disappear and the sorcerers won't, won't be able to get the spot. Oh my god, what? Can I shoot at the pal then? I can, kind of? What can the resonant do if I make him shoot? Probably the sorcerer. Unsettling. Every time. Necromancer. Very low damage. That's basically not what we're using. I don't want to hit the sorcerer. I want to hit the paladin. I, I could have made him vanish. Mind merge. He's mind merging with a zombie. Okay then. Unfortunately, I can't give an action to anyone. Damn. The sorcerer will act. Unfortunately. But at least, can I kill the necromancer? Do I go for a heal? We can go for a heal on blue blood. And... Hit the pal down, hit the resonant. Resonant will die. Killing the necromancer would be pretty sweet. So let's do that. Still not dead? Oh my god. It's not even dying from poison. It's not the best location, but I suppose it's a really OP spell. Oh my god. Six damage on both. That's total bullshit. I need to kill the paladin, and I need to kill the necromancer right now. Chaining Jolt. Ends the turn. So I need to take a hit. <clears throat> just, a, just a regular shot. Then do uh, a jolt near the zombies. Can we? Damn it. This has to happen. Throwing grenade. I could target the other one. Okay, and I just take out the paladin. Are we dying? Oh my god. 
I'm really glad she used a bad ability. I don't have a line of sight. Okay, we gotta get the paladin. Hey there, paladin. Uh, yeah, I'll just uh, take the free shot. Just in case this misses. I don't really want to take poison. Damn, let's just uh, watch. Actually, we can kill the resonant. We still got a loot from the enemy. Did that. So what's next? Can I do it without going into the poison? Or is that a priority? Repositioning. I would like to put out some heals. Well, He'll be yeah. fine. Let's do them blue blood. <clears throat> yeah, reinforces are imminent. So every single time you gotta rush like like hell. You gotta go. You I'm gotta go try. now. We don't have time. Stepping out. That one sees you. The regen will heal. On the way. Uh, the acid. So, just step into it and go. Into the action. Careful, you're exposed. Three robots. Okay, whatever. Oh, that's free damage? Damn. Okay, we gotta go in. But we still got the heal. Weapons running low. Whatever. Go. All get in. Urge. Crossing over. Oh, uh, he's gonna heal up too. There's nothing to do. Let's not use our free reload. Terminal. Come on, get in. Wow. Someone wants extra heal. Let's do that and go up. I'm nearly dry. Wow. Use the key card to get. Where do I use the key card? I'm in the elevator. There is nothing to push. Last time I did this, we just had to be in the elevator. I don't want to get super punished. Light it up. I probably shouldn't have used that. Can we just go up? Late game investigations start with dark events already active. I know that. 
You'll be completely exposed out there. I'm not going to die on a rooftop. You might, but not me. Let's go. Cool. All units entering here get 25 defense. Fine. Who wants to go first? It shouldn't be Patch. Let's go Verge. Patch, go Combat Scanners. Something like that. Yeah, looks good. Time to breach. This is it. Big boss. Looks like the start of XCOM. <laughs> oh. Okay. An acolyte. Uh, we might be able to kill that with patchwork. The Guardian is total bullshit. We should take that out. What I'm more concerned about? I'm more concerned about, about the Guardian. I don't care about getting hit a little bit. Okay. I, I do care, but they take out the other, but everyone else just takes out the guardian. If he can, that's it. <clears throat> It all looks like the start of XCOM. Oh, maybe there's gonna be a... There's gonna be like a... another level? I don't know. But that would break the rules of the game. Uh, let's bring up Terminal. Okay. There are no big enemies currently. I can have this adder kill the other snake. Enemies all around you. Appreciate the breathing room. Hopefully. only I could deal one more damage, it would be so damn good. Or if we had the fire rounds. I was I was researching it. I was it was almost ready. <laughs> almost ready for the final mission. I was like, no, you can't do it. Okay, fine. The Acolytes are no jokes. Those are damn dangerous. But first of all... Give Patchwork just an action point. Let's see I what she up. does with you it. Knock him down. Let's see what she sees in the first place. Sees a, oh, sees an Acolyte. An Adder. Neither will act before Blue Blood, unfortunately. Yeah, but giving her actions is pretty, pretty good. So, give her two more actions. Okay. 
Next up, we can go for a heal. Take our own shot. That works. We need she one has more my damage. Trust. Probably gonna be like us. four to five, right? These are actually pretty damn strong. They have lifts and uh, direct damage that goes through dodge and armor and cover. Okay, we need to get in closer. Send the gremlin, but can't miss. Left a mark. Okay, move up. You can also do Overwatch. I'll keep an eye out. Gives us room to maneuver. Two waves incoming. I can make how it there. strong will they be? Like they're coming from one door. I will fire. They, they gotta be damn ridiculous. Smart if they come so predictably. No. Now we don't have a good position. Over there. Gotta get moving. No, no, no. Yeah, I can't even reach them. I'll shoot anything that moves. I suppose that's the big uh, difference between assault rifle and SMG: the range and the Overwatch. for hostiles. Rolling out. This is not the exit, right? They're just gonna come to me. If they move, I'll shoot. Don't jump the gun. Good to go. Four Praetorians. Is that... Yeah, three Praetorians and two Brutes. I thought they were gonna send somebody. Not like that. Mm. We don't see anyone. Unless we get real close. Moving, quickly. Okay. Well, set up a defensive position. This is very odd because. This is never how we fight. That they are like miles away. Going there would be nice. Got you covered. Good range. Blue Blood Mine wants to reposition. What? 
That's a pretty uh, respectable throw. Blue Blood's going to go down. You need to run away. Like over here. Heavy cover would be the best. We can shoot the grenades. We don't gotta do that. Bomber. We don't see the legionnaire. Well, this explosive will blow up pretty damn fast. Throw in the area. I have no idea why they waited all this long to get these guys out. Heads up! Okay. Go away. What the hell? How are these so accurate? It's free damage, also strips armor. Four snakes, plus one regular guy. This would have been better if he were closer Moving to the there. elevator. A purifier, okay. And we could deal with them as they came out. I can still take a shot, right? Okay, let's make this Unleash bomber battle mad. <laughs> then, possibly go for a banish. On the bomber. It's actually uh, even better because we managed to destroy one of their covers in the middle. I'm gonna give some heals to Blue. Need a little help? Let the high tech spray do its work. Just what I needed. And maybe do on Overwatch. It's not great. The range of this is not the best. So I'm thinking of maybe giving uh, an action point to someone else. But let's just do an Overwatch. I definitely don't want to move forward. Got you covered. That. You got this. I suspect someone at least will run into it. What the hell is with your range? What the fuck is that? Okay, good thing that we have a nano medikit. Oh, that's kind of nice. Even this is like testing its limits. We can target three guys. And I probably I think we should take it. Because they're just gonna split up more and more. Uh, let's take the shot on the bomber. Finishing the bomber seems like an okay choice. Although, we can also mess these guys up. So, yeah, let's just mess these guys up. Discharging! Electrifying area. Not in range of the overwatch. Looking better. 
Rooting is not the worst in that uh, position. What the hell? The accuracy of these mutons is, is legendary. Okay then. So this would end the turn, I think. This will end the turn. We have a free reload. Actually, we shouldn't do that right now. How many people we see? We see five people. What about their order? If I shoot at the python... Do I see the python? I see the python. We can finish off the python. We don't see the legionnaire. And we don't see the purifier. Now the question is, out of those who we see... I think we can open up the cobra to a kill. And now we do a face off. It's gonna be pretty okay. Uh, yeah. No, no, actu actually, we have to reload first. Back in action. Then do the face off. I'll get him. One. Oh, that's not a kill. That's a kill, too. That should be a kill. That's a kill, too. Actually, we did not want this. No, don't don't hit patchwork anymore. We because the last stopped. shot in our round does double damage. We can even be trickier with this. Because he seemed to go from left to right or right to left, whatever. Okay, the Python can probably kill the Legionnaire. And the Purify can kill the Brute. We can kill the Legionnaire, and we can kill the Purifier. Okay, there are many things we can do. The next up, we got the Bomber. A little far farther away. I don't think we can shoot at it. No. Nothing. Great. Uh, I'll just kill the Legion there. We we're just healing non stop. Okay. I think we're gonna go for a heal on Patchwork just to make sure she doesn't die. Gremlin on the way. So many gremlins. Hmm. The bomber could be opened up to a kill. Who else we got? Yeah, we can kill the brute for sure. If we hit the bomber, he's going to die uh, to the poison. And he's coming next. work. Moving to location. Target what location is that? Yeah. I'm almost out. We are very good at long ranges. 
Get patchwork. See what you got. Okay. So we can take a shot at the purifier. But for now that's it. And we're just gonna send in the robot. Uh, to kill the brute for sure. Zapping the target. Illuminate. Shoot at the Python. I'm out. Uh, but we can reload for free. It's fine. Good to go. Yeah, let's kill the bomber. No, stop that. <laughs> he's eating free HP. Eating faster than he's uh, getting strangled. Let's give out some heal. While we have a teammate who's just dying. Not a problem. This is gonna be easy, right? I can tell. Oh, he's already giving it up? Oh yeah, one shot and he's gone. Okay. I guess... We can just send in the robot. Done! Oh. Another special room? No, that's just the previous room. <laughs> it doesn't seem like I ever fight some bosses. I mean, I... I suppose I... No! Of course! Of course! Encounter 1 out of 2. Because this is gonna be the super long mission. Successful shots and enemies during Breach will stun. Uh, that's gonna be... Uh, blue Blood. All units entering here get 25 aim during the breach. Successful shots will crit. Our chance to hit is already ridiculous. So, she comes in last. He comes in... Like third, I think. Maybe second. And uh, she comes in first. Fourth. Yeah, like that. Alright, let's go get him. We're going in. Open sesame. Oh, someone's in there. A sorcerer already. Can we just kill that on the way in? Oh my god, they're gonna shoot at me all so much. Okay, aggressive sorcerer needs to die. Instantly. Aggressive Praetorium. Yeah, I would like that dead, but the sorcerer is a bigger threat. Aggressive frog, I don't care. Uh, just just uh, alert Ronin. Another alert Ronin. An aggressive Praetorian. And another aggressive sorcerer. Holy shit! Okay, let's kill the aggressive sorcerer first of all.
What? Okay. I don't care about the thrall. Do we see the sorcerer? So we see the Ronin here. We see the Praetorian. We see the thrall. We see another Praetorian. Ronin. Thrall. Yeah. If we can just kill the sorcerers, I mean, that would be great, but actually, that's not realistic because the chance to hit on the other sorcerer is pretty damn low. I don't know if you can kill the Ronin. I suppose like, if I just kill some reds, I'm more than happy with that. It's not guaranteed that we kill him. But that's pretty garbage. Okay, let's take out the troll if you can. Can we just take out the other sorcerer? Oh my god, fight the Praetorian. Wow. I think we gotta die. On the way in. Yes. The sorcerer, please. Wow. The running could be a joke, but up close, not a joke. Lay down your arms. It's Chimera Squad. And screw you for all you've done, pal. What the fuck? All I've done. I've reminded this city what it needs to survive. You don't know what you're talking about. The elders will return. We can only defeat them by tearing the weakness from our hearts. Was that why you killed the mayor? A handful of casualties today, or a whole world tomorrow. It's an easy choice. He stalls for reinforcements. We should end this now. You won't acknowledge the stakes? Fine. Shrike, destroy them! They're running away? Kill or capture Sovereign to stop reinforcements. Where are you? So that's Sovereign. We have some grenades left. I do want to stop the reinforcements, but I also don't want to die. So let's throw the grenade on his head. This will grenade strip out. his armor big time. And we can also poison him. What? Did we just start by killing Sovereign? works for me. Okay, let's just kill Sovereign as an opener. He's gonna die to the poison. Did, doesn't he? No! He has one HP left. Oh no! Okay. Fair enough. Sustain. Beasts, hear the sea. I'm not sure if the, hear, uh, the sea is what I'm hearing here. Uh, incendiary grenades. Setting the Ronin on fire. This Ronin is in my face, and that's a problem. The Sorcerer is even bigger problem. But I can't reach the Sorcerer. Okay. Uh, let's see what we can do. We can shoot the Ronin in the face. The Praetorian is a problem too. But the Ronin is a bigger problem. Disoriented. Uh, that's good news. Can we just do a lance? We can hit the other. It's four to six. I suppose this is better because this might actually kill the thrall. We are not using incendiary grenade. We can kill the thrall in. Actually, I might use it anyway. Like, what am I saving it for? 
Let's throw it on the Praetorian up top. Throwing grenade. Then we killed the Ronin. Actually, we can kill the Ronin even easier. But what would I use my last bullet on? The Praetorian? Okay, let's let's play it like this. Let me kill the Praetorian up top. God damn it, blue blood, so peep. We pay the cost. Sorcery is a problem. From. Yeah, that's the best I can target. Okay, well, Thrall, shoot someone? Good job. We definitely want to kill the sorcerer. She will resist it. But we can Lights also throw it on Praetorian. Lighted by the light. I don't know. I might just take out the Thrall. Seems like an okay choice. Yeah, whatever. Whoa! We still have a... Motal Inducer? How about... No. Okay. Throw it on these guys. Plasma out! And uh, I don't need to heal. What I should do is uh, give Patchwork two actions. Sorcerer will act now, so I suppose we'll take the shots. Okay, give her another action point. Wait for it now. Well, can't expect miracles, but good attempt. Pretty okay chance of killing uh, the Praetorian. Nope. Now we're getting hit for like six. Behold. Sovereign is still under stasis. Oh, we're killing the sorcerer and killing the Praetorian. I'm not sure what the Ronin is doing. He's immune, but the stasis is gone. 
Nice ooh watching. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Where's the Ronin? Wow, so sneaky. Uh, kill the Sovereign. No free action. Dropping the hammer. Come on, we go. What a coward! Finding the flank. <laughs> You're alone now. Good luck with that. Your mind falls away. Bend the knee. Okay, then. Why should we kill the last guy? Kill or capture the sovereign? Did we? I think we killed him. All right, Ronin. Should I heal? Oh my god, I'm missing 2 HP. Maybe reload the gun while well, we have free reload. Let's get your insides back inside. Thank you. That's it. It was excellent. Excellent. We killed 32 guys, only captured 8, fine. That's just how it goes. It was a hard mission. Just, just driving back home, like nothing happened. It was just another mission. One month later? Chimera Squad. The director has arrived. At ease. One month ago, you were understaffed, outgunned, and in temporary housing. Hey, the place had character. And rats. Don't forget the rats. <clears throat> now, the entire squad is here, with the latest and greatest from XCOM HQ. City 31 is in good hands. Hostage situation in Old Town. We'll need all hands for this one. Chimera Squad. Form up and load in. I'm sorry for interrupting. You made my point. Go on. Do your jobs. Reclamation is entrenched. Our assets burned. We have no options. The battle for City 31 is lost. But XCOM doesn't realize they're already at war. And when they do? It will be too late. That's it! Victory! Impossible! Uh, on 5-11-2040 Yeah, I played this in the future V1, 51 missions Only 3 for us. Okay, fi fine it, Most of the time it said excellent So that's good enough for me I killed a lot of people I also captured almost as many people Only 5 times Agents went down and only six max tracked agents. Wait, how many agents we had in the end? Like eight? I kind of like eight. I think it was like eight. We had four in the squad. And four just doing stuff back at base. So it, at eight. So yeah, that's good enough. Uh, for me. Only Godmother and uh, Cherub uh, didn't uh, see max, max rank. And... Godmother because uh, she was shotgun based and Cherub because he is hopelessly terrible. Uh, that's it. Campaign day 71. I don't know. That's it. It was good. Although, criticism, it was way too easy. <laughs> way too easy. 
And the second is, it got very predictable. At it, I still had fun, but it was very predictable. The bot, I suppose, and I suppose repeated it at times. But it was still fun. It's still fun. And uh, also, I was a little uh, clueless about what to do. But it's not too bad. Not too bad. I would have personally liked a little bit more information, a little bit more challenge. And yeah, that's about it. I mean, it was a good game. I, I didn't really expect uh, like like brand new everything. Because sometimes you, you saw the same maps or very similar maps. Like sometimes it was the same map. Which is, which is fine by me. Uh, so, yeah. Good game, for sure. If you played it to the end, uh, tell me. Tell me about your experience. I would love to hear about it. Because I always feel like replaying the game uh, just, just when I uh, played it. But I'm not sure if uh, I should do that. Because there are other games that I very much enjoy. So, maybe I'll get back to it. If anything, I most strongly feel about playing... XCOM right now just to see how it compares because in my experience either I became an XCOM god or this game was so much more uh, easier than XCOM I mean I'm okay at XCOM I'm pretty okay but like XCOM is clearly more difficult even even in XCOM even getting hit is is a uh, is is something you don't want at all in this you can get hit as long as you don't go down, you're fine. So, anyway, guys. Thanks for watching. Tell me your experience. And uh, see you next time.